Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Grim Lord Sakura. So she's a mage, so let's compare her to Stole and Sukiko. So she's a true double hand mage, and I must say her true double hand boost is pretty good, 150% true double hand magic and spirit. So it's not only magic boost, it is spirit too. So I must say her survivability will be better than other mages. And her health boost is also high, 70% but if you take a look on the raw health stats that she has then it is not amazing at all okay 4200 while so and Sukiko gets about 4600 4700 her magic stats boost is also nice 170% versus 150% so 20% better than so and Sukiko and she also get another 30% from her Trust Master Reward weapon. So I must say her stats are very nice, both offensive and survivability. She also deal 50% extra damage against human, demon, and undead. So make sure you bring her when you face those elements. But after that, I think the rest of her passives are kind of mediocre. Only like 10% MP regen, damage modifier increase, and some ailments such as okay and that's it no fatal damage protection which is really important for a stacking mage like her okay but enough about stats now let's take a look on her abilities so for ability C is chaos wave disorder and bolting strike chainer but i think the disorder and bolting strike are not her dominant moves Okay, they deal low damage, so maybe you don't want to care about them. For Chaos Wave, she able to deal fire and dark element, two elements, nice. Okay, she also able to imperil 80% fire or dark resist using Chaos Wave move. So yeah, but maybe you won't ever use that because you have 100% imperil from your cooldown ability. And if you take a look on her damage rotation, on the first turn, you will use Grim Impending Horror. So that will increase your magic stats by 250% for 3 turns. That will increase your offensive power greatly. Okay, and it also imperil both Dark and Fire Assist. So again, like I said, forget Light and Thunder Elements. And after that, you simply need to use Grim Spectre Flames or Waves, depend on which element you want to use. And Tana, that's her rotation, very simple. After that, you only need to use Triple Grim Spectre Flames or Waves. And after two turns, you will get maximum damage for your Flames or Waves, which deal 20 times damage per cast. So I must say that's not amazing at all. Okay, you want you also may want to use her limit burst to refresh your imperil or getting 300% magic boost for one action. So it will increase your damage. Okay, so maybe you want to use your LB, but I'm not sure about the calculation. You also want to skip that LB. Okay, maybe you know better than me. But the point, what I want to say here is, if you only take a look from damage modifier, I must say, she's not amazing at all. So after five or yeah, after five turns, four or five turns, her maximum damage output per turn is 120 times damage. So if you compare it to top tier mage right now, Kimono, Fina, and so, you can see it on the screen. The damage output are totally outclassed. So really, if you search for magic damage dealer, I must say don't pull for Grim Lord Sakura. But that doesn't mean she is bad because she also able to support your party. First great support ability is AOE release. Yes, it only lasts for one turn, so you need to time it carefully. Other than AOE Re-Race, the skill also come with 35% damage mitigation and 2000 health barrier. So 
I believe your party gonna be really tanky after getting this buff. Yes, maybe damage mitigation may be not useful if you have Charlotte or Galoof on your party, but 2000 health barrier definitely gonna be helpful. But it has long cooldown, so be careful when you are gonna use it. And she also able to buff your party defense and spirit, so you may be able to ditch your buffer if you have good party setup, you will see later, okay? 130% defense and spirit with 500 health better. Good. And she also able to give your party stats break resist. Whoa, that's very good. Too bad for ailments resist. She only give your party poison, paralyze, confuse, and petrify. So I can say just ignore that all ailments resist. You still need all ailments resist buffer on your party. And she also able to give your party 50% fire, lightning, light, and dark resist. So that's half of the elements on this game. So yeah, pretty good support. I mean, another good thing is she can become amazing MP battery. Okay, you can double cast her support abilities. So that means 150 MP recovery to all allies. You don't need to worry about her MP because if you use her limit burst, you will recover your MP by 100% if you max the level. Okay, so I must say she is a good MP battery. And that skill also gives you 150% faster LB rate and 2 to 4 LP crystals to all allies except yourself. So I must say pretty good support. Now let's talk about the party setup. Grimlord Sakura can act as Chaos Wave Chainer and Defense Spirit Buffer. She also has AoE Relays, so you know, three roles in one character. And because she cannot give you damage mitigation on the first turn, actually she can do that, but you don't want to use your AoE Relays on the first turn. You want to save it on the threshold attack, so you will need fast 30% damage mitigation. You can get that from Irid. Okay, she can handle 30% damage mitigation and Irid also able to give your party stats break resist. So just in case your uh, Grimlord Sakura not able to cast stats break, Irid still can handle that for you. And for AoE Magic Tank, I think the best one to use with Grimlord is Awaken Rain. Because Awaken Rain able to give your party all stats ailments and stop resist. Whoa. Pretty good, they complement each other. Okay, and for Galo for physical tank, I choose Galoof because Galoof can give you 50% damage mitigation. 50% damage mitigation is insanely useful on today's standard. So I think you need to have either Galoof or Secretial Charlotte on your party. Okay, and for chaining partner, you can pick Sukiko because Sukiko also able to act as a breaker. But let's say you want to use Soul, you can do that. But for the six party member, you need to bring Breaker. But if you have Sukiko, you can pick finishing role from your friend, maybe Sid, Riberta, or whoever you want to use, okay, as a finisher. Then your party gonna able to deal amazing damage while able to, yeah, maintaining all the buffs you need for the battle. So enough about party sample, now let's talk about equipment. The only thing I hate about Green Lord Sakura is her weapon choice. She absolutely needs to equip Reaver. Okay, because it is fire and dark elemental weapon. So let's say, yes, you maybe have her SDMR, so you don't need to equip weapon. I mean, her trust master weapon. But the problem is, if you don't gear her with fire and dark weapon, then she will lose significant stats boost. Okay, so again, you really need this weapon. And for the rest of accessories and abilities, simply like simply equip magic booster like for other mages, but for abilities, you may have a little bit problem because she equips spear, so you cannot use uh, road related abilities like road mastery dark bond but it's okay there are lots of 
individual magic booster. Okay, so in about equipment, my conclusion for Grim Lord Sakura. So Grim Lord Sakura is really good character, but for a mage, I must say she is mediocre. Not bad, but like you have seen before, her damage output are not top tier for a mage. So yeah, she is more like into good efficient character, not top tier mage. She able to chain with three moves, but again, other two moves, Bolting Strike and this order are not her dominant move. Okay, so meh. For elements, same. Light and Thunder, mm, she cannot imperil those elements. So really guys, I don't think she's that great for those elements. So stick with Fire and Dark if you want to use her as a magical attacker. And yes, she also has nice support abilities, especially the AoE Re-Race, Elemental Resist, MP Battery. Very nice, okay? So cannot do that. Sukiko, while not able to do that, she able to break the enemy. So I must say their slot efficiency about the same. And for Trust Master Reward, it is bad. I have said this. She is probably the only character who need it. Okay, Magic Spear. Oh, kind of very, very super niche. Okay, and STMR. Maybe you disagree with me, but I must say that STMR is good, but I don't think it's worth to get. Yes, it is nice, okay, 50% magic and spirit. It will boost your offensive and defensive power at the same time. But, oh, I don't think it's a good idea to spend your STMR Moogle or chasing for Grimlord Sakura for that STMR. If you by any means getting for Grimlord Sakura, then yes, it's good, but don't chase this STMR. Okay, and I think that's all you need to know about Green Lord Sakura. Maybe you can decide, okay, whether you want to pull her on Monday or not. But really, guys, I don't think you should pull her. Okay, there are better mages, especially if you already have, let's say, Soul, Veronica. Then why you pull for Green Lord Sakura? Unless you want to build specific party like. I have talked before. Okay, so yep, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Guide. Bye bye, guys.